Hello. It's... Oh, God. I nearly said mini-sode then. It's not even one. Okay. Try again. Hello. It's episode 33. And we've just got back from Blackpool. Wow. Wow. Blackpool Pleasure Beach. We did it. We survived the weekend. We did. Despite the weather forecast. Despite um, Storm Dennis, was it? Yep. Dennis? Dennis the Menace. Yep. We made it in one piece. We did it. And we're going to talk about that. Let's talk about that. That's someone <laughs> On else's, this podcast? That, that's someone else's line. Is so we it? can't steal that one. Good Mythical Morning. But I used to watch it back like five years ago. Oh. These two guys and they would, they would always have an intro and they'd always be, let's talk about that. Okay. But in a cool way rather than a crap way like I just did it. Yeah. So... But yeah, that is what we're talking about today. It is. We're going to try and, you know, cast our memory back to three days ago, <laughs> which for me is a That's challenge. It's really hard for you to do. Cast our memory back three days, recall some of the highlights of the whole weekend. Indeed. Some of the lowlights. <laughs> um, and some of the just the lights, you know? The lights. <laughs> yeah. So, so where do we start? We start with the start, I guess. Yeah. The drive. It took us six hours. Well, yeah, about five and a half. We live in South Wales, and getting to Blackpool from South Wales is already a challenge. It should take four hours, but the M6, as it always is, is hell. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it took us longer to get to where we wanted to get to. Um, so we were aiming to be, you know, at Blackpool for like half five, so we could whack in the spoons real quick. Yeah. We didn't get into the spoons until like half seven. Starving at this point. Well, we should have got to the spoons for half five, but yeah, so two hours later than normal. Yeah. Later than anticipated. Um, and we were starving, so we pretty much just first thing ordered some food. Uh, I, you know, devoured it <laughs> pretty much yeah. while, while we're saying hello to everyone yeah. else. But I was like, I'm just going to eat this. It was pretty weird because we were just so hungry. We were like, hello, everyone, but we have to eat now. Yeah. Like, I'll talk to you in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> um, everyone in our group had already eaten, so that was a bit. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, yeah. At least we got there. But once we had eaten, it was time to make our way to... The first floor. The first floor. So, for everyone who doesn't or doesn't know about Blackpool opening weekend, essentially, what it is, is it's the first, or the Saturday of Blackpool, was the first theme park to open in the UK, right? So, this is, what, mid-February. Most mm-hmm. theme parks in the UK don't open until late March. So, quite early in terms of the uh, season. So it's the first park to open. All the enthusiasts go to Blackpool for opening day, essentially. Mm-hmm. But before they do that, they go to the Weather Spoons on the Friday evening. So loads of like British coaster enthusiasts or theme park enthusiasts were all in the Weather Spoons, all just chilling, talking to each other, etc., etc. They took over the first. Well, we took over yes. the first. So floor. we're gonna as we go through this, we're gonna give our top tips for Blackpool. Opening yeah, weekend. because we this was our first time and we didn't know what the hell no, we were doing. No, I swear, no one gave us any no. tips, any no. like, oh, you know, make sure you do this when you come or whatever. People are keeping it a secret for some reason, but um, yeah, I want to do a bo- blog post about this as well because there's nothing about there's there's some tips and tricks mm-hmm. to this that we it yeah. would have been a better weekend if we'd known about it. Yeah, so first tip get there early. Get there early. You might as well spend the whole Friday in Blackpool, honestly. Yeah. Drive up in the morning off. You know, you'd want to probably get into the spoons for... Five. Five-ish. Yeah. People were in there since three, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure. So four or five is, is the optimum point. And the reason we say that is so you can get a table on the first floor. Exactly. Everyone's at the first floor. In the evening, it might not become a problem because everyone is just standing around mingling out anyway. Yeah. But... It's good to have a base, though. It's good to have a base, exactly. And also, it was so busy anyway. I don't know if they were all enthusiasts, but it was just very packed, yeah, yeah, generally. Yeah, it Apparently, it gets busier every year. This year was crazy. Mm-hmm. Literally. There was not enough room. In the evening, it was, you know, body to body. So, <laughs> we managed to make our way up, and yeah. there was a table in the corner that yeah. no one had got. So, we were like, that's ours. So, then our group But it was literally of, like a table for two and we had yeah. about 15 people. Yeah, so we just kind of congregated in that corner. Um, and then kind of uh, just started to make our way around. You know, I would scout someone out and be like, oh, I want to talk to them. Yeah. So, then I'd look for an opportunity. Harry was doing some networking. Go over to them. I was like, oh, hi, Scott, from Pleasure Beach Experience. How are you doing? <laughs> you know? Um, 
But it was good though. There was loads of people there. People we didn't know. People we did know. Yeah. It's we... just everyone in one room. It was kind of weird, wasn't it? Yeah. This is it for another. Well, not really a tip, but I think next time we go to opening weekend, it will be better because we've met more people to begin yeah. with. You know, we were going there and we hadn't really met many people. We hadn't really been to that many opening days. We've been to Towers opening, but mm-hmm. it's, that's less of an event though. It's well, yeah, and the fact that it's massive, so you barely see yeah. anyone anyway. Um, so this was the first kind of one where we were encountering all these people. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure the second one, well, not the second one, but the next one will be better for us. Um, and if you get there early also, it means you can talk to people before they get wasted. Yeah, because they drink that, was, a lot. that was the theme of the weekend. It was the theme of the weekend. Many people were drunk, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> Which is so, good and bad. Ah, uh, yeah. So get there early, talk to people while you can. <laughs> uh, or join in the festivities of being drunk if you enjoy that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that evening was was a good one. It was weird just to yeah talk to all these people. Um, had people come up to me quite a bit, but it was nice to meet everyone. It was. It was. And then we went to sleep. We did. And then it <laughs> That's was. That's what happens at night. And then it was the next day. Got up, looked out the window, saw the big one testing. Yeah. Did a little happy dance. The previous night, everyone was like, oh, the big one's not going to open. The big one's not going to open. And then Scott from Pleasure Beach Experience was like, oh, I reckon the big one will open, but only in the morning. Um, so there it was testing. And I was like, oh, Scott's right. It's going to open in the morning. So uh, Scott was wrong. It opened all day. Don't spoil it. Oh, spoiler alert. You've spoiled it. Spoiler. No, yeah. So it, it was testing. Uh, we went to the Spoons again, had breakfast. I'm um, just going to say now, the only place we ate was Spoons. Literally. All weekend. Yeah, but we were in a hotel that was a three-minute walk away from Spoons. Yeah, and also Blackpool's kind of dead. That uh, that side not, is, yeah. Yeah, there's lot, a lot down there. No, not, not, where, spoons. not where the Pleasure Beach is, mm. no. So, had Spoons breakfast, enjoyed that, made our way over to the plaza. By about half ten, it was rammed for the people. Mm. And uh, then the nightmare began. Oh my god, it started raining. The, no, no, the opening dance oh, yeah. slash performance that they had going on. Yes. Which was cringy as hell. Random characters doing random dances. And to one guy that songs. wasn't dressed up just yep. dancing as well. Yep. Then Amanda Brilliant. Th- then Amanda Thompson came out. Yeah. Not in a fur not with fur on this no, time, sadly. Fuming. Can't believe it. Her staple item wasn't there. Um she said a few words, oh thanks for coming. Most of them were but. Yep. Um, and then it was time to go in. It was. And we went in. I can't even remember what we went on first. And we went on Icon. Oh, is that what we did first? Yes. God. We went on Icon. It's all just a blur now. Icon was doing good. Yeah, the queue was relatively short. So we were like, oh, we'll just hop on Icon. Um, first ride since April of last year, mm. which was really good to go on. Enjoyed that thoroughly. We only went on it three times, didn't we? All weekend. No, two. Two. Two times. Two times. That's bad. Mm. There you go. So, yeah. Let's just go through, like, what else we went on on the first day. Because on the first day, that was quite, it was quite a good day. We got a lot done. Icon. Yeah, so we went on Icon. Then we went to queue for the big one. Yeah, which nearly shut down. So, it it was open. It was open for about an hour. Then it was closed for about an hour. We got in the queue. And then we left the queue. And... No, we left the queue first. Right, let's start this again. So the big one, we went to queue and then we left the queue. And then we left the queue because we couldn't be asked to wait on one train, big one. Then everyone else left the queue because it because closed. Because it broke down, yeah. To wind. Yeah. Right? So then we were moseying about doing other things. What did we ride? I can't remember now. We looked at Revolution. <laughs> Literally looked we didn't at go it. We went on up it. the stairs. Um, Grand National. Yeah. Did we ride the Grand National and then saw that the big one was yeah. operating? So we went to, we went up Revolution, oh, we got yeah. some shots and that. Yeah. We rode Grand National, which was, I have to say, very good. My best wooden ride I've ever had at Blackpool. Yeah. Um, it was really smooth for some reason. I don't know if it's the rain. Yeah, I don't know. Because I've never been in the rain before. I think that that position in the car is pretty good. But I've had that position before, the middle seat. Mm. And for some reason, it was just like really smooth. Yeah, maybe it was the rain. I don't know what was going on. Anyway, did that. And then everyone was like, oh my God, big one's open. Mm-hmm. So we got in the queue. And then, of course, as soon as we get in the train... We literally sit down. The guys are like, oh, we're, we're closing because the wind's picked up again. So then we had to sit in the train for 10 minutes. Well, they didn't close it. They just stopped it, right? Yeah. Yeah, they were just waiting, which was terrifying because... 
it's fine. I hate that ride. And then they were like, oh, we'll just wait till the wind dies down for you to, to send the car. Yeah. And it's like, but what if the wind picks up immediately after you send the car? Fine. Joel was just turning around, always looking at the ride Joel operators. Joel was on it. He was, he was excited. He wanted to get on it. <laughs> and then we did. And it was windy. It was very windy. And it was cold. All the rides all weekend were cold. Wasn't that bad, though. For a big one ride, it was all right. Relatively. Oh. On, on, on the scale of big one rides, it wasn't the worst. No. But the new track... No different. No different. No smoother. So Don't they expect replaced, anything. They replaced one like section of the track, like a tiny bit. Yeah. And you can just tell so bad because it's just bright red and yeah. the rest of it's like manky red. Yeah. But yeah, it was literally the same. Well, of course it's the same because the, the problem isn't with the track. It's with the profiling of it. Well, yeah, and and the train is probably crap as well. Yeah. So yeah, no smoother, looks nicer, but you... yeah, but it looks silly now because there's oh, just like course. one bit. Just need to paint it all again. Yeah. But yeah, no, we got on the big one. Surprisingly, everyone thought it was going to be down the entire weekend. Yeah. But, Which is why we rushed to it. Yeah, but on Saturday it was yeah really good. It was close to around an hour of the entire week like day, and then operated consistently on one train, mind, mm. but still operated consistently happy with that it's got some new audio as well as of yeah. late last year and a new station new station layout queue line the the cow not, not the cow pens the actual like bays for each yeah. row are much bigger now yeah. and that's better much improved and who was it that said there's a front row queue well, scott scott yeah he said yeah there is a front row queue it just wraps around a little bit right so there's a front row queue now happy days they did well to mm. do all that um so yeah that was the big one then it's so hard to remember like what else we went on uh then we went over then we had some food we had food we had lunch next and then we went to the pve yeah then we went to the pleasure beach experience meetup at um the log flu the log flu i can't remember the rugrats it's the rugrats thing yep to watch mike go on the log flu like 500 times in a row he actually went on three times yep crazy so everyone was there uh everyone hopped on to the log flume everyone got soaked and it was fun to watch yeah i don't know why they did it it wasn't very warm and no. it was raining but it's literally the worst idea yeah. anyone's ever had um, no, but it was funny funny to get everyone oh, it was together. funny to watch but i wouldn't have wanted to be on it because they actually just got soaked mm. to yep. be fair though we were all just stood in the rain oh of so course. it's not really much different this at that it. point throughout the whole day it was raining on and off yeah. so you were getting wet regardless it was just whether you wanted to get more wet yeah um which obviously some people did. I think Zach rode it a few times as well. Yeah, he loved it. He was going round. But uh, after that, it was on to Nick Streak. Yes. Loved that. It's that really was good. It's all right. It's all right. Nice and smooth. It's not bad. Enjoyable. Nice uh, comfy seats. <laughs> nice sit down. And uh, throughout the entire weekend, really, the queues weren't bad at all. No, no. It was pretty dead. Yeah. Well, it was the weather, Because of it? the weather. Yeah. So we didn't really ever have to wait that long um, for anything. Mm. So... I mean, we did choose wisely as well. We didn't exactly queue for things that we knew we were going to queue yeah. years for. Uh, but no, Nick Street was a very short queue. Got on that. Went on Wallace and Gromit. Wallace and Gromit. Which was dead. Hopped yeah. on. Saw cheese, <laughs> Gromit. Tried some cheese hats on. Yep. Tried some cheese hats on. Then it was on to Big Dipper. And then it started really raining then. So we're on the Big Dipper as it was really raining, which was painful. Didn't enjoy that. The Big Dipper is probably my worst one my worst wooden one for some reason it's just like really oh, it, it's crazy jank. it's really jank yeah it kind of scares me a bit it isn't very it isn't that smooth or anything it's proper jank yeah and because so, it was raining so much i just put my hood like i covered my face with my hood so i couldn't even see yeah. where we were going so that made it even worse that you didn't even know when it was going to be janky but we did it we did it we did it. We did it. And then was that it? Was that no. when we rode Icon? That, oh, yeah, that is when we rode Icon. So the last ride Icon. of the day was Icon. Icon. <laughs> Icon, last ride of the day. In the chucking down rain. And this time this time of day, it was pissing it, it down was rain. It was really, really bad. Yep, really heavy. Um, we managed, the ride was mental because it was to so nab, quick. Yeah, a back row ride in the rain. Really quick. Uh, really my, rainy. My most painful experience on a roller coaster so far. I don't know why you didn't put your hood on. I did. Like, oh, on your face. I did. But only when I told you to. No, I was doing it. Once I... Were you? Not for the start, but then it got too painful. Yeah. It was really bad. Because as you said, it was running fast and the rain was coming down really hard. Yeah. So... Yeah. It was funny. I think my yeah. worst one of that is... Um, I can't remember what time it was, but when we were on the Smiler one time. 
because on that one you I can't hold my hood in yeah. on my face because I have to hold on. Yeah. But on Icon I could just hold my hood, so yeah. I wasn't even like exposed to it at all. Yeah, that was just lots was of pain. Painful. Lots of pain. But a good ride. Oh yeah. Because it was so quick. Yeah, exactly. Icon in the rain is very fast. Yeah. Yeah, we got off and um, someone said that that was their favourite ride on Icon yeah, so yeah, far, and ever. I'm like, geez, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, after that we pretty much ditched the group while they waited for the others because it yeah. was literally chucking it down yeah. with rain we got kicked out of the icon shop because it was closing we did and also this whole time oh god Harry's shoes My were shoes literally were soaked so wet I don't know why you bought those shoes he brought uh-huh. he bought what an idiot don't, don't bring what an idiot he like, brought canvas shoes don't bring canvas shoes that's another top tip I'm not being funny what who are you? We've been to theme park so many don't times. Don't bring canvas shoes. Yeah, everyone. I don't think anyone would, Harry. Don't do that. Joel Except did. for you. Joel did. Yeah, but Joel's weren't that bad, were they? Or were they? they? Were. Yeah, so don't do that. Everybody's um, cause silly. As soon as we got back to the park, I had to run to the car and go get some shoes. My other shoes, which yeah. were also canvas. But yeah, but just because they were so wet and these yeah. shoes were not going to dry. They didn't dry overnight at all. Uh, they've only just dried today and yeah. it's Tuesday. There you go. So. Changed my shoes over. You, we hung around. You wrung your socks out I into did, the sink. And lovely uh, brown water came out. Yeah. So that was grim. We literally completely changed our clothes because it yeah. was so wet. But we hung around in the hotel room, which is another top tip. What? Don't do that. Don't hung, spoons. hang around. Spoons. Yeah. You've got to get to spoons. Because the festivities of Friday <laughs> begin again. With On less, Saturday. But with a bit less people. But do begin. So, again, you want to get to Spoons relatively quickly to nab a table upstairs. Or anywhere, in fact, because what happened was we got there. Oh, yeah. And the other guys, there was probably 10 of them, had got one of the tables, but it was kind of a rubbish one where we couldn't really all sit and talk together. So we had to eat on our own and then we were trying to like, we literally, we were just waiting for someone next to us to leave their table so we could grab it as well to get enough people around the tables. And it was a nightmare. And this was like on the ground floor when all the normal people were sat. So there was no chance of us being upstairs, but literally it's so packed. Everybody who's been at Blackpool just goes to Spoons. Yeah, so... Uh, get there early again grab your own table um and yeah essentially it was a repeat of the previous night just yeah. a bit less busy just chilling but yeah we were downstairs for most of it just talking to our group a few people came down said hello mm-hmm. um interacted that was a good night it was and then it began again on sunday it did all over again it did back to Weatherspoons for uh, another breakfast <laughs> it's literally the same day again yep what did we do first on Sunday? Oh, we tr- the Icon queue was so long because it didn't open. Yeah, so Icon didn't open for about an hour. They just tested it and, then and it, tested it and tested it and tested it. And when it did open, it opened on one train for the entire day. Yeah. So obviously there was something pro- a problem with it. Yeah. So on Saturday, ride availability had been perfect. Mm-hmm. You know, despite even the big one closing due to wind, but that's fair enough. They yeah. managed to get it open. It had been flawless, but then Sunday just wasn't as good at all icon was down from the beginning the thing was like with big one being down all day because of wind which we all knew was going to happen then the only thing they're relying on is kind of like icon to to soak up a lot of people Mm. and it was on one train so it can't so we just didn't really want to go on it because the queue was so long yeah an hour at least so that was a bit annoying but um while we were waiting for Icon to open, which it never did. Well, it did, but not for ages. Um, the other guys went on steeplechase, mm-hmm. and then some of them got stuck on it because it the did. wind was so strong. Yeah. We so, thought they were going to have to evac, but then they just, like, pushed the, the horses down. Yeah, and they nearly didn't make it again. But yeah. Yeah, God. no, they were going really slow. Some some of our group made it through, some of our group didn't. Yeah. And were stuck there for, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. One on Sky Force. Yeah, Sunday we just kind of did like all the little bits, didn't we? We did like Sky Force, yeah. Grand Prix. Um, you got your cred on. Well, so did I. Blue Flyer. Blue, Blue Flyer. Yeah. Which was really nice, actually. It is. I like that ride. It's enjoyable. You know, Sky Force in the wind was very cool. Mm. When you when you're rotating up the top and the wind just blows, you catch it. You do a lot. Yeah. Of, a lot of flips. The problem is in the wind. You don't. You can't flip at the bottom. Right. Only when you get to the top, you can start going again. Mm. Um, but it was funny. Funny to just, just rotate over and over and over and over. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, but no, Blue Fire was good. It was good. We did a 
few other bits we did. What else did we do? Well, the, well, the Grand Prix was one, right? Yeah. Which we'd never, never done that before. Never done that before. So and that, that was, was really funny, actually. Yeah, just to go around parts of the park that yeah. you'd like never really... It's quite big. It takes up a lot of it's space. It's quite big. So is the train which we went on yeah, for the, the train, first Yeah, the train goes around. It's yeah. not as big, though, because it just kind of weaves in and out. Yeah, but that was cool to see, like, we go under the rides and... Go under uh, Infusion, go yeah. next to Icon, uh, under the big one. Yeah, I liked that. Yeah, it kind of just goes around everywhere, doesn't it, really? River Caves. River Caves was the final ride of the day rubbish. for us. Always rubbish. River Caves is an issue for me. Why? <sighs> I think I've said this before, it's just so weird it and is. like badly dodgy. done. It's dodgy. Well, it's old. And also racist oh, in yeah. a lot of ways. Well, yeah, but a lot of black people. Yeah. It just needs to be changed. You can keep it the same structure of the boat and everything, but why? I don't get why they don't just change out some of the stuff. Because some of the sets are cool. Like a couple of them are really good. If you just changed out the animatronics people, mm. it'd be great. Like the pharaoh bit. Yeah. The animal bit that's like a jungle. The bit at the end is good. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it's it's just because it's so old. Yeah. It's probably in its like fifth iteration already. Mm. Um, and over time it just get demolished. Things did get fixed when we rode it, I think last year. Um, one of the one of the elephants at oh, the yeah. end. His whole... Like, Duct tape elephant. His whole nose. What would you call it? Trunk. Trunk, Was yeah. just made out of like, yeah, duct tape. Whereas now it was fixed. It was and, fixed. Know, fine. I was really mad though because that was like the best bit of the whole mm. thing. But you're right, the animatronics have like one pivot point, one movement point. Yeah. And every time it moves, the whole the body whole just shakes. Moves. Yeah. It's awful. They're so creepy as well yeah, and weird. Are. But no, that was, that was it in terms of rides. I mean, we were speaking to other people, uh, you know, like Alex Crump of Theme Park Worldwide. Yeah. He was saying that, you know, he was just rattling through the rides and you can. It, it's well that weekend was definitely one where you could have just ridden everything yeah it's as just, many times as you wanted basically we were just weren't really that bothered about chain riding things or getting on everything because i don't know with with the blackpool rides it's just a case of you ride them once and you're like happy with that mm-hmm. you know you and don't also, need to ride like, them again opening weekend wasn't really about that like going into it we knew it was kind of more of a social event yeah. rather than you know we're here to ride stuff definitely so we didn't we weren't really that fussed about what we were getting on no but i think we got on a decent amount considering the weather which i really thought like everything yeah. was going to be down well this is it everyone thought everything was going to be down yeah but then I, th- I don't think the weather was really as bad as everyone expected it, wasn't. it to be well it wasn't up in blackpool it was no. down south yeah but i think for some reason, up there, it was okay. It was. So what do you think then, first opening weekend? Because this is something that everyone has talked about for years, you know, that you've always wanted to go to. Mm. Did it um, live up to the hype? Yeah, I think if, you, if you're going for interaction and talking to people, Spoons is by far the better part. Like, even though you did see people at the park, I felt like you wouldn't, you never spoke to them for that long yeah you know you'd only just come across them and be like oh you're right you know yeah i think Wave cause... to jack silkstone from across the fountain yeah but i think <laughs> but... because everyone's like heading to a ride or like whatever yeah unless you join their group and then you don't you feel a bit like oh i don't really want to yeah that everybody rude. has their own friend group yeah and it's only really at spoons where you can kind of mingle a bit yeah more. so but these are things that you don't know the first time right but I, I I think it was good. I lived up to expectations. I think it did, yeah. Um, next year I probably won't be that bothered about going to the Pleasure Beach on the Sunday. Yeah. Depending on how bad it is on the Saturday, I guess. I but think I agree, then. but um, I also think it depends on the weather. Yeah. Depends how much we get done on the Saturday. Yeah, definitely. But I think um, a lot of people were just going on the Saturday. I think I when I was hearing that, I was like, "Whoa, why are they why are they only going for one day?" But then when we were there the second day, I was like, "Okay, I can see why yeah. only one day is kind of enough." We'd still spend the night in Blackpool though. Yeah. So we can go to the Spoons on Saturday. Then maybe we could do a few of the Merlin attractions in Blackpool before heading off early, yeah. rather than you know because we've got quite a drive to go. Um, it would be nice to head off and make our way back home earlier yeah so i think next year we'll probably end up doing that but as you said it probably depends on how much we actually get on Mm -hmm. what some people were doing is because they knew the weather was bad they were hoping that it was going to rain a lot on saturday so that they can get a free ticket for sunday yeah so 
I it's think, a good shout depending on what the weather forecast is. I think you can get a cheaper ticket, like £19.50, up until the day of. So the night before, I think you can still buy it. Right. So if Just you know watch, the weather's going to be bad, weather, yeah. right, I'd maybe yeah do that. You know, keep an eye out on on uh, on the forecast, and then just collect your ticket there and then. Yeah. What about you? What did you think? Um, I thought it was better than I expected it to be. It was quite like a shock when we first got to Spoons. Oh yeah. And I just didn't realize how many enthusiasts were going to be there. You know. Mhm. But I don't know. It was just really weird. It was kind of like. A, like I was saying, someone should just rent a hall out because that's basically what it was. It was like a social gathering that someone had planned as if, you know, it was really weird, but it was good. It's just, you know, we all know I don't really like Blackpool. <laughs> so I wish it was in a different park. But but I think overall, Joe asked me the other day, has my opinion of Blackpool changed? And I don't know. I think it's hard because I, with Blackpool, like I see why so many people love it. But for me, it's like, If I had to write a list of everything I don't like about a theme park Mm. or like ride types that I don't like, everything that I would put on that list would be in Blackpool. So it's hard for me to like it because nothing that I like is there, if that makes sense. No, I know what you mean. But it was a really good weekend. And like I say, I had a few good rides on some of the wooden ones, which I'd never really had before. So who knows? Maybe it is growing on me a little bit. Well, I think over time, if they continue to change things, then... Yeah. Potentially it will. It just needs, as you said, a few, well, more modernising, right? Yeah. It needs the old and the new. Um, And, the, yeah, there's not a lot of rides that cater to kind of just, like, everyone. What do you mean by that? As in comfortable. Right. <laughs> you know, enjoyable to all. Rewritable. The, yeah, well, perfect word, yeah, rewritable. There's not many rides at Blackpool that are entirely rewritable. Yeah. I mean, Icon's obviously the main one, but... I think, but also, I think on that point, Blackpool does quite well... Because there's so much stuff there. There is. That if the average person went there on a day out with their family, they would have so much stuff to do in one day that they wouldn't really have to do anything twice. No. Well, Whereas for us, we're doing stuff twice because we've been there so often. Yeah. No, I do agree. There is a lot of There's a hell stuff. of a lot of stuff to do. Um, You know, like like the, the Pleasure Beach Express, the train. Yeah. Just all the dark rides. Yeah, I mean... Even if you don't like coasters, you can was, go. There was still stuff we didn't get on. The ghost train was closed, sadly. Yeah. Never been on that, so I've still never been on it. Valhalla was obviously closed for refurbishment. And yeah. they had uh, they had a wall, like a, a wall that they put the up. signs. That yeah, they with do. signs on blocking your view of it. And it was saying, like, the gods are reimagining Icon. Icon? Or Icon. Valhalla. Icon. Icon yeah. for 2021. Um. <laughs> um so... It'll be interesting to see what next year is like. Do we know what they're doing next year? For what? Are they just bringing out Valhalla again? Probably. Well, who knows what Valhalla's going to even look like. That ride was an absolute shamble last year. Yeah. And it has been recently anyway. It's going to be really interesting to see what they do with it. Because something needs to be done. The effects barely work. What? So what could they do, though, feasibly? <sighs> replace... Just fix the effects that are broken and leave it all the same? I'll take them out and replace them with ones that are more reliable and less expensive. The, the problem is that rides really expensive to run. Yeah. So they need to re- basically make it make less it cheap, expensive to yeah. run. But then that hinders the effects, because a lot of the effects are fire-based, and running fire-based effects every well, five seconds... Well, that's just ridiculous. Seconds. Even Wicker Man exactly. isn't on all the time. Yeah. Hardly any of the time. I think there's like a few fire effects. So even if you got that down to one, it would still be, you know... A lot. It would still be a lot. Uh, but they need to fix stuff like the water jets that are meant to shoot water over the trough, shoot water into the trough. Fabulous, yeah. Which gets you soaked. So hopefully it is going to be less about changing and more about reliability, mm-hmm. you know, improving or, or, or replacing... Making it more efficient. Yeah, but then that will also make it cheaper to run. So then the cost up front of fixing it will be mitigated by the cost of it being cheaper to run in right, years after. Right. I think that's the plan. So they're spending money now to save money later. That might even be why it's closed for this year. Save all the cost of it operating this year. And spend it on spend fixing Spend it on it fixing instead. it. And then it's going to cost less moving forwards. But there may be other issues, you know. Maybe structural issues or things that they want to improve. That they might want to improve the facade or whatever. That's whatever, what I'm thinking. Do you reckon they'll literally just leave it all the same? In terms of its look. I kind of do. I but do. That's but that's so silly because when they reopen it, everyone's going to be like, it's the same. Yeah, well maybe they will change some things. But Surely I, they have to. I imagine most things are going to be internal. Yeah, like the main budget. Is going to yeah. be spent on that I stuff. Ho- I hope it's 
spent on making it cheaper to run and reliability. Mm. Really, those are the main two factors that need to be changed. But yeah, Blackpool, it's one of those parks, you probably find it, that you can go to once in a year and then you're like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Pal, this happens to me every park. Ah, oh, fair enough. You know, welcome to my world. Yeah. it's Except for like ones like Leesburg. I think it's difficult though, like in the UK, we we only have like two, three main parks, so we... Yeah. That we go to a lot. Mm-hmm. Us two, I mean. Yeah. And so... Well, I've been to Blackpool quite a lot over the past few years. You have, yeah. So... So what, what, once you go a couple of times, it kind of loses its magic a mm-hmm. little bit. Yeah. Still, but, it's still enjoyable. Yeah. Opening weekend just isn't really about the rides. No. As silly as that sounds. Definitely not. It's just like... Yeah. It's just um, like a save the date for everyone to get together. Mm-hmm. More of a social gathering. Yeah. Everyone is nice to each other, humble. Just having a good time. Yeah, pretty much. What's next on our agenda in terms of, I don't know, everything? Everything. Well, we've just decided we're going to go to Towers opening again. Yep. Which we did last year. We did. Um. So we'll be there if anyone's going to be heading to towers on the 21st of march the the saturday that it's open i think it's the 21st we'll only be there the saturday again because same with blackpool really we've been to the park we yeah. don't i don't care about getting it's not on the about rides. towers it's about who's no. going to be there as long as get on we're coming yeah. once i'll be pretty happy and the new ride that's coming oh yes maybe we'll do that a couple of times doubt <laughs> but we're going to be busy what did run, you just say? It's probably going to be busy. I said doubt. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, run but to it. What, what I mean Gotta is... Gotta run I've... to it. Get early. Get in the queue. <laughs> With all the kids. Get in the plaza five hours before. <laughs> first thing on the gate. You get Harry Turnstiles to let you in the park. Yeah. You leg it all the way down. First in the queue. It's you a see, long run, that and is. And you wave to Sean Sambrook behind you going, beat you, mate. Problem yeah. solved. But I'd rather queue... For that, than anything else. Oh, yeah, because it's new. And I right, don't know why, worth... but it's... No, like... but it's worth queuing for because you haven't yeah. been on it before. Yeah. But, yeah, no, Tower's opening is up next. So we'll be there. So we if you will. see us, say hello. Say hola. Make sure you do. Because, you know, we're we're happy to have a chat. Yeah. And talk. That's what the whole point of the weekend is. Exactly. So... We met weekend, a few but... listeners on the weekend, so it's nice we to... Did. See everyone, really. Yeah. See the people who listen to us. And reply with, with your thoughts and comments and everything. Yeah. Because it still feels like nobody's really listening to this, doesn't it? Don't know, mate. I'm not the one who does it. Yeah, but you're talking right now. Does it feel like you're talking to someone? I'm talking to you. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't feel like anyone's listening. It's quite a weird thing. Yeah. I, it's probably worse for you because you're the one who actually puts it together. Yeah. I, I never listen to an episode. Yeah. Except for the first one. So... And then after that, um, we're going to the Netherlands, aren't we? Uh-huh. We're in the Netherlands for Which like two keep, weeks. We need to start planning this thing. We because do. Because it's soon, you know? Yeah. But so we... we've got three parks there. Efteling, Toverland and Wallaby Holland. All of them new to me. How yes. exciting is that? Lots of new rides to get on. I actually love it when it's a new park. Because it's just not boring at all. Yeah, of course it's not. It's going to be really interesting. It's going to be weird. And I really want to go Efteling, so... Yeah. That's one of my bucket list parks no it should be good there's a few other trips after that but we'll play it by ear uh now that we live in south wales we still need to get to oakwood you need to experience megaphobia and how bad it is we were gonna go to oakwood um opening day weren't we not not opening day (laughs) we were going to right because we thought oh we'll go to opening day start a new trend it's on a monday why would you have an opening weekend opening day on a monday how mad is that? Mm. Just take a day off work, you know? We've got to consider if we want to go to Poulton's Park. I think for, we should, For the yeah. debut of yeah. um, their new area. Yeah. But I don't know what day that is. That might be a Friday. Or a Monday. It won't be a Monday. <laughs> Maybe we'll go. I, I imagine quite a lot of other people go. Yeah. Get time off work, why not? Balls YOLO. To. Yeah. So there's a lot. There's, there's um, a lot coming up. We're going to Port Ventura later in the year as well. Um, we are. We're going to Fantasyland by just by chance, as we, we said are. before. Uh, so we'll probably end up riding Fly later this year. Woot woot. And all of our opinions on all these new parks. You know, I'm sure all the Dutch parks we'll be talking about on here are separate episodes. Port Aventura as well. Uh, we'll talk about Fly, a retrospective after we've been on it. I think also we should have a mini so dedicated to the jambalaya we're going to eat. This is very true. This is very true. <laughs> Every Literally. meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, oh, jambalaya. That's if that's gone, gonna I'm going to cry. If the jambalaya is gone, I'm leaving the park. <laughs> Can you imagine? I would actually cry. I'll be like, where is it? Yeah, I need it. Jambalaya was good, man. 
I'm just thinking. We need I was, to ask for a recipe. I was going to have chicken nuggets I know. instead. What a basic boy. I know. I'm like strong nah. tamarind, man. What, what am I doing? You really were as well. You've got to branch out. I've changed. I've changed you, my way. You've changed I have. Man. No, since. Come on. Yeah, you have. I've changed I was a lot. proud of you for choosing the jambalaya. Yeah, well, no, since then. That was like 2017. Or that something. was a long time ago 2018. now. 2018. 2018. I don't maybe. know. It was a long, 2018. It was a long time ago. Things have changed. My culinary experiences <laughs> of eating um, curry in Sweden, which was weird curry, but sure. It was good, though. It was good, but it's not like... Real curry. No. Yeah. <laughs> but it was good. Loved it. But Lo- it's kind of similar to the one at um, Leesburg, that curry oh, we yeah, had. Oh, yeah, it was. It was. All the theme park curry is like watered just, down, just like weird like curry. mild ass curry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want something strong. Like jambalaya. No, oh, it's not like spicy. Not... Ugh. Jambalaya's not spice. We should actually try a lot of their food because I bet there's other good stuff no, there at is. Fantasia there Land. Is. Yeah, yeah, maybe what we'll, we'll have to. Um, yeah, we'll probably end up eating twice when we so. Lots of things to look forward to. Yeah. Anyway. We did it. We survived. We'll, we'll be going next year if you want to come see us there. It's a yes. good weekend. It is a good weekend. Come spoons. Say hello. Yeah. Mingle. Get your photo taken with um, Immersive Memes. He's a duck. <laughs> Everyone was posted about him. And uh, stay tuned. What's, what, this comes out Friday. It does, yeah. Stay tuned in two days' time for the vlog. It's going to be a crap vlog, I'll yeah. tell you now. I'm really bad at uh, filming ad hoc, filming on the go. Especially in the rain. Essentially, in my mind, every shot needs to be planned. And that's stupid. That is stupid. So what we're going to do, Black Tower's opening even, is just film everything. Just film stuff that happens. Film everything. Because then, like, even if half of it's crap... I just won't use it, yeah. but I have an extra however much more that I can actually use. So but the Blackpool vlog's not that bad. Oh no, I haven't done it yet. And It'll be alright, we, we'll recover it. We got ourselves a new camera, we did. so there is going to be some shots in there that are quite cool. We did. Oh, we're still messing around with the camera so the shots will get better. We are, but they're still cool nonetheless, even though we're not very good at using it yet. Mm-hmm. So, you know, have a little look, see what we're getting up to. Indeed. Um, yes. And I recommend uh, if you want to watch a vlog now of, of the opening weekend with a more, you know... Accurate representation. Yeah, watch um, Joel's vlog, Fischl. F-I-S-H-U-L. Yeah. Uh, you should find him. He's the one. All of Fischl's artwork is basically... looks a like white background. Drawn it on MS Paint. Yeah. So if you see a crap thumbnail that looks like some <laughs> child had hand drawn a roller coaster, that's, that's him. So watch it, very good. We were Subscribble. watching it yesterday and laughing. We were. So, so. so subscribe, Joel, member of Coasterbot, yeah. TM. So check it out, <laughs> check it out. Anyway, that's it. I think. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. see you in the next one. Bye.